And we are now underway tonight's match presented by Daimler Trucks North America. And we're at Tuesta over it for LAFC. And Tuesta is going for goals. Steve Clark parries it straight up into the air. Fortunate after his misplay was not uh, punished. And this is an ugly collision. Jordan Harvey is going into the book. A yellow card in the fifth minute. Ginella, Mohamed El Manir. Clipping it towards Wright Phillips. It's a good ball, and it's saved by Clark. It was there for Bradley Wright Phillips, and he couldn't make good contact. Chance for Bradley Wright Phillips. A sun ball from El Manir coming off that left book, the right back position to his left foot, and when he just caresses it right into BWP, he almost takes too much off of this ball. He's just trying to guide it. Diego Chara into Williams' head. Now Jimmy Chara, now Diego Valeri. Felipe Mora, shot was blocked. Sliding in Eddie Segura. He can do whatever he, he wants to make it right. Doesn't have to show red, but he can. The decision from Alan Chapman is yellow to Eric Williamson, who, who looks surprised. That's why, and, and my, my, my best okay. thought towards it is the referee. That's why he's brought both captains together. A lot of that is, is to do with the defensive work for both teams. Larry serves Morris header is wide of the near post. Williamson thought about it from distance. Instead leaves for Valeri. Now Valeri clipping it in. Mora is there. Big time save from Sisniega on the best chance of the match so far. Can't quite get it to the side of Sisniega. There's plenty of power on it, and he gets right in that gap. It's so well timed, and it's a great ball. But unfortunately, he puts it straight at the goalkeeper. See, the Timbers, the last five, ten minutes, you would say, they're coming to grips with this energy and the spacing of LAFC. There it is again, and their quality. Just the angles to get in these areas. Mora is through. Mora behind. Oh, he gets pulled down. He stayed on his feet. The shot was saved. The rebound was saved. He's asking for a penalty. None is given. Even though he didn't go to ground, it's, it's a struggle that referees have. Valeri saved by Sistiega. Not out of danger, he bumbles it back in. Oh, Valeri missed it. Chapman had a lot to do in the first 45, and he gets us underway in the second half. Tonight's match is presented by Daimler Trucks North America. Chapman swallowed his whistle, played advantage. He pulled out of that. I think he realized that if he didn't get that right and he went in, that would probably be a second yellow. He really did. Yeah. That was a smart decision from, from Diego Chara. Now Mora turning. Oh, he bumbles it on his right foot. Has scored! into the second half the Timbers pick up where they left off at halftime and it's Jeremy Bobisi again for the eighth time this season this is one where the Chara starts to go in decides to pull out an LAFC they don't look after the ball in this moment it's Perez he, he's trying to get out of it Diego Chara comes back he forces Perez back and then Viafani does a nice job but now this is where the magic happens it's that drive in from Jimmy Chara now working that ball across the face of the 18-yard line to find Jeremy Obobese. This from Valeri. How's that for awareness? Knows exactly where Obobese is, and Obobese knows exactly where the back of the net is. His second assist uh, of the season for him tonight on Jeremy Obobese's goal. Valeri's service. Mabiala is there, and he heads it over. Ended up with Wright Phillips. Now El Munir gets around Jimmy Chara. It's a good chance. It's a save. The follow is saved again. No, the follow was wide. The initial save from Steve Clark. And then Apoku couldn't put it on frame. Up to the task. Well, El Munir does a nice job just to beat his man. Get towards the end line. And when he cuts it back, Lusoski. See, he makes good movement to come off of his, his defender. And as he's trying to make that contact, doesn't get all of this ball. Here's Danny Masowski, who has four goals this year. Ginella from distance. Clark is there. Touch away from Murillo, who slid it, didn't get it. Valeri, forward for Villafania. Villafania's cross to the back post. He's looking for Mora. Knocked down and off Harvey and saved by Cisniega. Look promising. Meanwhile, LAFC is going to make three substitutions. And they're getting even younger. Christian Torres, a 16-year-old, is coming on for 35-year-old Bradley Wright Phillips. 
Mora trying to get around Yakovic. He defended it well. Now Chara pokes it away from Atuesta. Here's Williamson to Jimmy Chara. Saved by Cisniega. He's kept LAFC in the game. It's a nice little drive, driving run there from Eric Williamson. El Munir to take the corner. Headed out, framing up the post by Yakovic. So close for LAFC. Long towering header. Zabobasi, it's his man, and he's undercut from Segura. And when Yakovic, he does jump well, but he can't get it on the underside of the crossbar. So he jumps well, but Segura. It was Murillo, rather, that gets underneath the Bobasi and Yakovic is a good, strong header, but it's beaten. His man can't beat Clark or that crossbar. It doesn't look like Clark gets a tough. We say for, for them just to, to scrap their way through, just to, to claw their way over the line to be able to, to get the three points is the one goal will be enough. Oh, great turn for Opoku, and there it is for LFC. The 16-year-old Christian Torres. His first goal in MLS is possibly an equalizer in stoppage time at Providence Park. It's 1-1. LAFC continue to pile on the pressure to the Timbers, but it's all about this turn from Torres. When the ball comes to him, or Poku rather, his turn, then into Torres, and as Torres comes off in between, this finish left-footed finds that side corner. As the Timbers are scrambling to try and get a hold of them. They're dealing with the Poku in that turn. Able to get there, though. Back to Villafania. Looking for Williamson. Leaving for Tui Loma. The flag has remained down. Farfan over the bar. Their spacing was good, but as the second half has gone on and on, they've struggled to look after it. And that's it. The Timbers drop two points.